Hi there and welcome. My name is Jason and what I have to share with you right now are some planters that I just built. Uh, they're actually right here uh, and I'm, I just finished constructing the um, bottoms of them uh, and as you can see um, there's a bunch of uh, hardware cloth and it's actually a stainless steel hardware cloth um, because the, I'm planting vegetables in here and um, I don't know if you've ever seen like the chicken wire that they have in the uh, in the stores now, it has the Proposition 65 because of the corrosion and the metal that goes into um, into the earth that you're, you you know you grow your vegetables in. So um, I went looking around, and Gophers Limited uh, sells stainless steel uh, hardware cloth um, that's made for putting, um, you know, in the ground for in-ground use. So um, this is like a perfect union right here. What I've done is I've used some stainless steel screws with stainless steel washers also, um, so that you know, in three years, um, you know, when I want to come and check on this in between crops, uh, you know, I can dig all the dirt out uh, and then, you know, lift it up and check to see, you know, are any of like the washers or screws corroding? Is, the, is this corroding? It shouldn't. It should last at least a few years. But, you know, if you want to check on it and, um, you know, if there are, is this screw here or there that is corroding and you want to replace it with a brand new one, uh, the drill, you know, as opposed to staples that are made of who knows what, you know, they're made of stainless steel and you can just undrill them really fast to make the whole replacement process really fast. And they're also very, very stable. Um, there's no go for getting through those. So, um, and yeah, as far as the wood, uh, this is um, non-treated redwood. So um, there's no glues in it. It's just pure redwood. So I highly recommend that if you're going to build a planter bed to grow vegetables and food in because you know you don't want like glue and stuff like slowly leaching into um, into the soil that you're growing like your potatoes and radishes and tomatoes in. Uh, you know uh, so this will naturally age. It's very red now but it'll age to a more of like a gray like color and um, you know that's natural. That's what redwood does. It's a very very nice wood for um, growing things in. Uh, it lasts a long time. But uh, yeah, um, I provided a link in the description below um, to the uh, Gophers Limited Steel Hardware Cloth if you're interested in that. Um, but yeah, any questions on how these were assembled, just let me know. Oh, one other point, um, pointer I wanted to point out really quick. Um, in the sides of this right here on the planters, um, to put them together, I use deck screws. And deck screws also, um, they last a really long time. They don't corrode quickly, um, you know, they're very, very long lasting non-corrosive screws to use. So that's why I use deck screws to construct the planter beds. So um, yeah, just wanted to share that with you. But um, any questions that you might have, uh, my name is Jason. These are the planter beds that I just made to keep the little gophers out. Uh, any questions, just let me know. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out.